Hi everyone. So I'm going to do something a little different today. It's kind of like a review, but since I'm really looking at these for the first time, I guess you would call them like first impressions kind of review. I wouldn't want to sit here and set my, uh, what I decide about these in, you know, in concrete or anything, because the more I use them, I may change my mind, which, you know, has happened before. So today what I'm going to do, um, obviously we're talking about these. I, um, received these as a Christmas present from the in-laws. We weren't able to do Christmas stuff until this weekend. So, um, I did receive these. These are the Pentel Sparkle Pop, uh, gel pens. And, uh, it says sparkling iridescent metallic gel pens. So they're glitter and metallic maybe. I don't know. I got all glitter pens to try against it. So I guess we will see um, one way or another. This is a two-in-one ink color where the ink looks different on dark versus light paper. <clears throat> so instead of a full review like I normally do where I take us through swatches and everything else, Today, really, what I'm going to do is just compare these against some of the uh, common gel pen, pen brands that you may have or that I use quite a bit and I'm familiar with, just as a quick kind of comparison as to how they look up against them. And then we might color with them a little bit on uh, a mandala. Not sure if I'm going to finish it or how we're going to do that. We're just going to roll with it. It's Monday. I'm wore out. I've been... <laughs> actually doing stuff around the house most of the day, but I really did want to get this video out and I wanted to open these and I didn't want to open them until I was actually on camera. So these are bold. They are the 1.0 millimeter size pens. I am not sure what the other pen sizes are, but we will look at that as a comparison. And that's probably really loud. I do not open packages well. Some people are really neat about it, and me, I'll just, I can almost tear it open with my teeth half the time. All right, so here are our pens. It says the colors look different on dark versus light paper, but um, just initially you get eight, <coughs> excuse me, eight different pens. I've seen these on Amazon anywhere from eleven to twelve dollars to fifteen dollars U fifteen ish dollars US. That seems to be kind of the average for them for this set of eight. There are other ones like I think Solar Pop and a few other types of these uh, Pentel pens. So let's grab a purple since purple is one of the things that one of the colors that I have other ones of and take a look at it. And I'm going to play with my focus here. There we go. So, actually I can bring my light over a little better now. It was glaring off the package and that wasn't helping matters. So, this is what the Sparkle Pop pen looks like. You have your cap here, which actually covers both the pen top and your uh, grip here. And then you got sort of a tapered into it. It does have a round barrel. And when you take the cap off, the grip is a rubber type grip on it. And um, yeah, these look to be fairly, uh, fairly big gel pins in that they're going to cover a wider area, probably a little faster than some of your others. So now that we've seen that on the purple, let's go ahead and first off, now I'm curious. So according to the now destroyed packaging, packaging, I have lost it completely. Eh, I figures. Oh no, there it is. So the purple should look more of like a dark blue on dark paper. Now this is just a paper I tore out of a Jade Summer book. I don't have any coloring pages. I do have some of the black background, but 
in terms of the entire page being black or something like that. I don't really have anything like that, so I figured we would just scribble on this and call it a day. So there that goes, and it is indeed blue. Very pretty blue, actually. Like that. That's like my favorite kind of blue right there. University of Kentucky basketball blue right there. So that's very cool. I do like that. My biggest problem is other than, I mean, I'm sure I can find uses for it outside of coloring, but with coloring, I don't really have any coloring books with this kind of setup. So unless I'm coloring a coloring page that somehow has the entire page in black, I don't really see a use for that. <clears throat> if you know coloring books like that, please let me know. But I know I don't have any, so the fact that it is two-in-one is a little lost on me, which is a shame because I think it could be really useful otherwise. All right, so I grabbed a couple pages from coloringbliss.com. I'm a premium member over there. And these are uh, done by Miss Jennifer Stay over at Coloring Bliss. This is a mandala I found on her site, and I'll put the links to these in the description. And then she has a swatch page, but I thought this would actually work really well as a test page to give us a uh, even comparison between the different brands, and then that way I can color in each little oval shape or feather shape and um, we can compare it that way. I just thought that might be a little bit easier seeing as how I want to do that this way and I bet it's blurry again. Yep, there we go. That's better. All right, let's zoom in. Okay, so we know that the first one's always going to be Sparkle Pop. I'm also testing scribble stuff. Pen gear. Those you can pick up at Walmart. And color it. Yep. That's an L. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And Jelly Roll. I have two different colors. I have a purple and a pink to test. So we've taken a look at the purple pen a little bit. So let me go ahead and fill in this little feather shape. As you can see, you get a lot of coverage quickly. Now, what's odd to me is it still looks kind of blue. And this is a purple. I'm imagining this is supposed to be the purple. Maybe not. I'm really confused right now. It's going to be kind of hard to compare when it's coming out blue. We're going to grab the pink one and try it. Oh my gosh, that shine though. That is really nice. You see that? Isn't that weird? Am I crazy? That's blue. It's blue, right? It's like the same blue we were getting on the other. I mean, there's some purple in there, but it looks more blue than it does purple. How bizarre is that? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead and move down to what I assume to be a pink pen. Um... <laughs> We're going to hope it's a pink. Otherwise, this will be a very quick little test, and we won't be really be comparing, will we? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, this should be a pink. Let's try it on the scratch paper. Looks like a dark pink on there. Hopefully, that means it'll stay a dark pink here. What I would say is maybe... There we go. That's what I was looking for. So what I would sit there and say is that the back of the Jade Summer pages, the one that had the black uh, background, may not 
entirely work with these pens, but then again, they should have been more purple here other than just, it looks like blue mixed with purple, weirdly enough, which I find odd. These give really good coverage for a bigger space. I would say these are going to shine, ha ha ha, in particular on um, pictures where you have a bigger area you need to fill with gel pen. As you can see, it went down pretty smooth, didn't have to go back over it, it's just going to be one good solid line, or uh, one, uh, one layer, come on Michelle. And when I just run it in a straight line, that's the kind of line we get, which is a pretty bold line. And you get quite a bit of shimmer to that. It has both like a glittery look to it and then kind of a metallic sheen to it. So the comparison pens will be a little different because they're mostly just glitter pens. It's going to be hard to find one to really compare because most of the time in your packages for gel pens, you get like a glitter version and then you get a metallic version. So here is the Scribble Stuff pink one. Let's take a look at them in comparison. Let's pull them down here so they're actually somewhat, somewhat in focus. So lengthwise, the pintail is probably a little bit longer. When I take the caps off, you can really see the difference. Overall, it's a little longer, but then when you look at it actually with the caps off, you can see that it is significantly longer than the scribble stuff. The barrels are, I'd say about the same size. The Pentel one might be a little bit bigger. So if we start from the points that the pins start, then, wait a minute, why am I confused here? I am confused. So where the actual ink starts, the Pentel has a lot more ink in it overall uh, than the Scribble stuff does. Now to be fair, I have been using this one, but where it started was in this area as I can see. So. Even if you went all the way down in here, it, I know it wasn't that much. And I'm going to grab another. Let's grab the purple one. Since I may not be using that. And as you can see there, it's still not quite as much ink as the Sparkle Pop one is. So you do get some more ink with the Sparkle Pop uh, gel pens. So let's do... First, let's do our little line. Definitely a thinner line than what you get with the pintail. So let's go ahead and fill this in. This will take a little longer simply just because um, it's not quite as bold a tip as the pintail. Now my question is, can you buy the Sparkle Pops in a smaller gel pen version? Because don't get me wrong, I could really use some gel pens to cover like wider, bigger areas. <clears throat> but a lot of times I use gel pens also for little fine, smaller areas. So now shine wise, you're actually getting a little bit of more shine off the scribble stuff than you are the pen tail. Good gracious. Let's put them in the same spot. Well, no, actually they're, I don't know why it's looking different. That's so strange. Okay. So if we keep them in the same spot, so let's take a look first at the Sparkle Pop. And then if we scoot this over, I think you're still getting a little more shine with the Scribble stuff. It's close, but I think the Scribble stuff does give a little more shine to it. But the difference in the line, you get a lot bolder line with the pen tail, which makes sense since it's the, it says bold on the actual pen. So next up is the pen gear. A 
overall length of the pen, including the cap. It, the Pentel one is a little bit longer. We take the caps off and we pretty much line them up. You know, what's interesting is on the Pentel one, you cannot take, it doesn't look like you can unscrew the cap at all. It is just solid on there. It's interesting. Normally I have pens that um, will screw and unscrew. So that's interesting. But overall, even if you just compare it from this, let's say this point on, your Pentel one is still going to be the longer pen overall, as you can see. And if you line them up like that and look at the ink, um, you do get a little more in the Pentel as well. So continue on. Shine one, shine two. Yeah, I think scribble stuff still. Oh, we got to do our line. I think it has a little bit stronger line than the scribble stuff, but it's still not quite as bold. I was hoping this one would actually have the pen size on it. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but that's something I haven't been paying very much attention to, and I guess I need to start doing that. Because I have a really good number of gel pens. But I don't have a lot of variety in the overall pen, like, size. So I have a lot of gel pens, but a lot of them are mostly like this one in terms of the type of line that I get, the coverage. Most of them are. All right, so there is the pen gear. So we're going to make sure we keep them under the same light. So there is, if we're looking at it at this point, there is the sparkle pop. There is the scribble stuff. And there is the pen gear. You get a good shine, like that kind of metallic-y shine off the pen gear. But I think you get more like actual sparkle from the other two. So if I just do that. Yeah, I think you get a better shine off these two right here. This one just looks like one big glare. Still shiny, but I don't think it gives quite as nice a look. These aren't exactly the same pink. <laughs> Trying to find the same pink amongst five different um, gel pen brands is a bit of a little bit difficult. I don't know why I did that. This is the color it one. So, oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, in terms of barrel size, the Pentel is a little bit bigger barrel-wise than the um, pen gear. Now, the color it ones, the Pentel is definitely, a, a, it's a significantly larger diameter barrel than the um, color it. The color it's more... It's almost like a colored pencil size, I guess I would say when I was trying to think of how to describe the barrel size on the color. It's so overall, again, the Pentel one is longer from the cap to the end when you take the caps off. I would say your um, Pentel one is still longer pen overall you do get more you do get more ink in the pen tail and with the bigger barrel it definitely is like if you're looking at it I guess by like volume you would get uh, way more in your pen tail than you would your color it so let's do our color it line it's a fairly thin line like I said these are pretty much the exact same across the board they're not bold like these but other than possibly the jelly roll pens, I don't think I have any others that are that close in overall uh, overall size. But I still think it's good to compare these because you may not be aware that the uh, Pentel ones are so bold. 
and you may be someone who uses gel pens in really small detail areas so that one may not be a good fit for you if you don't need the bold size pens all right so sticking with the shine here we've got here let's do it like this so we've got sparkle pop we have scribble stuff scribble stuff and pentail to me feel really close your pen gear which is just really shiny and then your color it you get some shine off of I don't think you get as much as you do off the first two so so when you're looking at them across like that the way the lights reflecting off of them I don't think you get quite you get a good shine from them but I don't think you get nearly as much from the color it's as you do the other three get some really nice glitter action off those sparkle pops so the scribble stuff has some glitter your pen gear is more just straight up shine than glitter and then your color it you're seeing more glitter than you are shine so and see that's the thing I know all this seems really nitpicky but if someone's really trying to decide between gel pen brands and you're somebody that prefers like an actual glittery look versus the shine like the glitter part of it's more important than like an overall kind of shine metallic type shine to it then this this type of test might be useful might be useful all right so we got jelly rolls finally do 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 looking at them side by side well would help if they were in camera looking at them side by side um they're about the same the pen tail might be slightly longer but it's not it's negligible i don't think it's by much and now the jelly rolls are like the pen tails in that the no actually you can take no i thought you could take the cap off of them but i guess you can't so if i compare those your jelly rolls are actually longer overall than your pen tails the barrel sizes are the pentels barrel size still feels a little bit larger than the jelly roll but not by much these are the closest compared um, overall size and especially with the amount of ink that's in them these are the best overall um, comparison in terms of overall look of the pens that i've seen out of the ones i've tried so let's fill in the jelly roll let's do the jelly roll line so you get a little bit thinner line again man that's kind of hard to see so much shine on this paper as you can see your um, pen tail just overall is going to give you the boldest line out of all of them let me do the jelly roll one again feel like yeah that first one is like it wasn't quite getting the ink on there yeah I would say the jelly roll is probably a little closer to the other brands if anything it might be in between but I think it's closer to the finer lined gel pens mm -hmm. I don't know why this one feels like it's taking longer. Maybe it's a thinner line. Look. I'm lucky I don't have Coke bottle glasses, so finite details like that probably are not going to be easy for me to see. Okay, so let's go back. we'll start here we have sparkle pop 
Wah. Okay, now we have Sparkle Pop. We have Scribble Stuff. We have Pen Gear. We have Color It. And we have Jelly Roll. Now, when I'm looking at them like this, I see some good glitter in the Jelly Roll. I would say not quite as much shine to it. And, well, and then your color, it's, you do get some shine, but I think you get more glitter than that. The pin gears is pretty much all shine under this kind of light. Your uh, scribble stuff is a little more shine. And then your pin gear, pin gear, pentel, excuse me, sparkle pops, give both a really nice glitter and a really nice shine. Okay, so in kind of looking at these and just <clears throat> kind of talking off the top of my head on this, um, the biggest thing I noticed right off the bat, of course, is the boldness of the line. The, the Sparkle Pops, and I'm assuming the other Pentel pens that are the 1.0 millimeter, are going to help you fill in space a lot faster. You might lose some of your fine detail work just for the boldness of the line, just depending on how fine a detail we're talking here. Um, you do get some nice shine off of it, but you also get some really nice glitter. Just sitting here looking at it, I can see the glitter without really having to shift the page around. You know, normally it takes kind of moving the page a bit to really see some glitter, but I can see it here just sitting here looking at it. I feel like the scribble stuff is probably closest to it in comparison of shine and glitter. Um, the scribble stuff may give a little bit more shine, less glitter, and um, all of the other brands that I tested have a finer point on them. So in that regard, if you need something that's going to cover a lot of surface area, the Pentels are a good choice for that. Um, so your scribble stuff had more shine, less glitter. The pen gear was just pretty much all shine. There's some glitter in there, but for even just looking at it, I see way more shine and just glancing at it than I do glitter. Your color, it's way more glitter than shine. And then your jelly roll. Hmm. I'm going to revise what I said. I think your jelly rolls are going to be closest to your sparkle pops in comparison to shine versus glitter. These are very similar looking and just looking at them um, off the page. I can see a good amount of glitter, but yet put under a fairly bright light, you get about the same amount of shine on both of them now that I'm looking at them. So uh, Scribble stuff's pretty up there though with those two. So if you prefer more glitter, then you do like just like the metallic -y kind of shine. I would go, if you prefer more of the glittery look, I would go with the Color It, the Jelly Rolls, or the Sparkle Pops. If you prefer more shine and in, in the glitter, you can take or leave. I would go more with either a Scribble Stuff or a Pen Gear on that. I think the Sparkle Pop and the Jelly Roll probably give you the best of both worlds on average there. So, um... One thing, I will have to splice this video together because one thing I forgot to do was go look up prices for comparison. Um, let's do a few more of these because now the purple slash blue has thrown me off. <laughs> so now I have a concern and I want to make sure the rest of these look like they're supposed to. I don't think we can get them all. No, we, we can only get seven of them. That's fine. I don't really need to swatch the the black one. I guess that's what that is. I don't really need to swatch that one. I can just scribble that on the black paper and we'll, we'll see. So this looks like it's supposed to be like a yellow or a gold. I'm getting gold here. And 
getting gold here. So, don't know if it's a fluke. Guess I need to watch some other videos where people are reviewing the Sparkle Pops. But my purple looking pen is looking way more blue than purple when it's on paper. Which is fine by me. I love that blue color. But if I was looking for a purple, I would not be very happy. I guess I could do the black one down here at the bottom if I wanted to. So caps caps everywhere why do i have caps everywhere all right so that was the goldish looking one which is indeed a gold it's very pretty gold actually i like that a lot here's the orange one so i'm not really getting a color difference and this may not be the proper type of paper that I need. I just happened to pick it with the black backing thinking that was going to, um, that was going to get me what I really was looking for in terms of color change. And I don't think I'm getting it. So, um, well, I don't know about that. That looks more gold than orange. Now that I think about it, Let's see what it does here. Yeah, it's more orange here. The green one will be one I can really tell the difference based on how it's supposed to look on the packaging. So you get eight pins, and let's say they're you know fifteen ninety nine or sixteen dollars. You're looking at roughly what two dollars a pin. Now see that is an orange. It looks closer to a goldish, like a golden orange, golden yellow, I guess. But it is orange. Alright, so the green one. The green one is supposed to take more of a blue look on this type of paper. So let's see here. Yeah, that's more of a teal color. You see that? Yeah, that's more of a teal color. I can go with that. Let's see what happens when I color here. I'm still getting the teal color. <laughs> this is regular printer paper. That's what's really throwing me off here. I think instead of going with the mandala from coloring bliss we may try a different um and it could simply be just the way i'm looking at it in the light this kind of does like the blue purple does in certain light it looks like one color yeah that's really strange whoops didn't quite didn't quite cover that all the way So, actually on camera that looks like even a completely different color. So this one is like a teal mixed with green. I'm also having to go over it a few times because it's not white coming out of the pen easily. Might have to tap this one a few times. So like when I hold it certain ways, it looks greenish. When I look at it in other ways, in other angles, it looks tealish. So yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little corn fused on this one because it says two and one ink colors, different colors on different color paper is what it was saying. So, all right. So the blue supposed to be more of I guess like a teal green but on here I am just seeing well you got that green blue look again all right let's do that here it's like at first when I put it down I thought I had the blue 
And it kind of did that wacky different color thing. These are iridescent, so it could simply be they you can see different colors at different angles, but I I feel like if I'm looking directly down at it, I should be seeing the color I'm supposed to be seeing. I took it out of the bright light and just held it up to regular um, daylight. And I'm not seeing a lot of difference. The blue light might there might be a little more blue, but I'm still seeing blue instead of purple. Yeah. So, one thing to keep in mind here is even though the pen may look blue, like you're going to get a sky blue or something like that, you're going to get more of like a greenish blue or a purplish blue or something like that that's going to be a little harder to just sit there and say, okay, this is the pen color, this is what I'm getting. That's not really what you're getting. You're getting two different colors mixed in is basically what I'm seeing. Because when I hold it like this, with the orange, I'm seeing like an orange and a golden yellow. With the green, I'm seeing green and teal. With blue, I'm seeing blue and teal. So you are getting like a blue on this, but you're also getting some different colors. So if you're looking for a true... Like, I pick up this pen, it's light blue, I expect light blue to come out of this pen. These are probably not going to be the best choice for you. Here is the gray. Silver. Gray. Silver. Cat hair. Silver gray. Can't believe I've been doing this for 36 minutes. I figured this was going to be a whole lot quicker. Well, we are getting a true silver from this. And yes, I know iridescent means like you're going to see multiple colors in it. I, I am aware of that. But looking at these pens, if you don't notice that on the actual packaging, that may be something you're not aware of. So that's the reason we are doing this. It says the black pen supposed to look like red on a dark surface. Something tells me we're going to get a black red. Goodness, we are getting a dark red, actually, which is really sharp. That is actually a really sharp red. And then when you lay it down, I can see both the black and the red in this one actually very easily. So, I definitely would call this more of a dark red than I would a black, though. Okay. So we basically got all our Sparkle Pop one swatch. Let me back out here. There we go. And just for comparison purposes, we're going to look. This was the purple. This one was the pink one. Gold. I should have done this from the get go. I don't know why I didn't. That was silly. Orange. I'm going to go with green. Go blue. Almost there. Ow. 
Hopefully I did that right. I think I did. Silver. And I mean, you're kind of black slash red. Okay. So, in trying to look at the pitiful ripped up packaging I have now, So this is, it says this is new, innovative, and reflective sparkling iridescent ink that is ultra glittery. Ink looks a different color when writing on black or white paper. Smooth metallic gel ink, an extra long balanced barrel, latex free grip, and then the 1.0 millimeter tip writes bold lines. So all that we kind of verified ourselves. So in looking at this, when I look at the blue, or excuse me, what was supposed to be the purple on both the dark and light paper, it looks essentially the same to me. Same with the pink, the gold, the orange. The green looks more blue and the blue looks more green. <laughs> That's why I said, did I do those backwards, but I don't think I did the silver color and then the black barrel that is actually like a dark red. So here's the deal. I'm not really seeing a difference between this color paper and this color paper. Now the backing on the Jade Summer pages may not be what they were talking about on the different color papers. There may be a different type of paper I'm supposed to use to get that to happen, but I, I'm i not so sure about that. That seems a little odd to me. I still should have seen some difference in my opinion. They essentially look the same for me on either types of paper, which is fine. But the whole two-in-one pen seems... Now, if you want to say two-in-one in terms of iridescence, then yes, I would agree with that. So this is the purple pen. It looks more blue than purple to me. However... When you hold it up and you move it back and forth in the light, you see both colors. You see the purple and the blue. So in terms of these are iridescent and it's going to basically be like two colors in one, meaning when I put it down here on the paper, it's going to look like two different colors when I'm looking at it. That's the case for the majority of these. I'm not really seeing that with the pink and I'm not really seeing that with the yellow gold color. The rest of them, however, and the silver, I'm not seeing it. But with all the other ones, I am kind of seeing that iridescent look to them that it talks about. So, what? how will I use these? What do I think? I like them. I do. I am a little dubious of the claims on the, the packaging. Other people might have had a better experience with them. Like I said, this is right out of the gate. So I might find something different the more I color with these. So due to the claims that these color differently on different types of paper, I'm not seeing that myself. Um, and when I color with them on regular white paper, when I'm seeing this pen and according to the packaging and according to, so like here, this is obviously supposed to be like a purple color, right? And then over here, it would be more of a blue on dark paper. That's what I'm referencing. I mean, the pen itself is purple, but I'm also referencing what's on the packaging. And when I put it down on both different types, that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting purple and blue, and mostly blue is what I'm getting. So I'm... I'm calling shenanigans on the packaging for my experience, but again, I may not be doing this the right way. This may be somehow kind of user error. I don't know how, because I don't know how differently I could have colored it on white paper. The only other thing I can think of is to get a different, like an actual coloring book with coloring, uh, like a coloring page and try that. And we'll do that here in just a second. But I'm not seeing the 
you know, writes, you get two different colors depending on what type of paper you write on. I'm not seeing that. I like them. I like how quickly they fill in the space because they do write bold lines. But at $2 a pen, that seems awful high. If I was going to pay that, I might just pay for jelly rolls and be done with it. Um, especially because I'm not getting a true color. If you're trying to use these, let's say I'm coloring a page and I need bigger pens to fill in the bigger areas, but I'm using these along with like my scribble stuff pens or my jelly rolls or something. I'm not going, if I'm trying to get a similar color, it's going to be really hard to color match with these as we ran into with the purple up here. The pink's not too bad, but I'm not seeing more than one color in it anyway. So a couple of these would probably be okay, but these I would probably use on their own, on their own separate coloring page. So with that being said, instead of using the printer paper, let's use a coloring page. I am going to use Color Me Stress Free. We're going to open up to this mandala because I don't know if I will ever work on this one, and this will be good practice for us to round this out. So, which ones were the ones I was, I was having trouble with the purples? So, let's take a look at the purple one. Mm, we'll go with this one. So, um, you're also only getting eight pins. You're not getting a huge amount of color variety. All the other pin brands I tried do give more color variety than just eight pins. These would be good workhorse pins. If you need to fill in really large spaces, you get more ink with these. You get a bigger tip on them. See how much faster I'm filling this in than I would um, with even a Jelly Roll pen of uh, the particular size pens I have. Now, Jelly Rolls do come in a variety of sizes, but I do not know if that's just with like their white and black gel pens or if that's with all their different color types. So. I'm probably not going to stop this and do a whole bunch of price lookups because I think you guys can make that judgment yourself. The color it gel pens are the only ones of the bunch that have color names on them. Some sort of distinction so you can swatch them. I believe it was 48 gel pens in a case with refills for roughly $30. The pen gears were... I think 30 something pens for 13 or 14 dollars. I got those at Walmart. The scribble stuff, I believe it was a set of like two dozen for 10 bucks on Amazon. The Pentels are available in other types. You have your Solar Spot. Solar Spot. Boy, I am having some troubles today. You have Milky Pop, which is like a pastel gel. And then you have Solar Pop, which is a neon gel pen. So you do get some um, different types of gel pens. You don't just have your glittery, sparkly ones. I think with the color at ones that I got, it, they were all glitter, but with all the other gel pen brands, um, I got a variety of like neon and glittery and things like that. So we'll do this one and we'll stop. So I'm still seeing more blue than I am purple. But it is that whole, if I'm, 
Well, it doesn't really matter which way I look at it, it's still blue, but I am seeing both colors in it as I change the angle. So, I don't know, maybe I don't understand what iridescent means. Last time I checked, I thought iridescent meant it would look a significantly different color at different angles, and I'm not really seeing that myself. But, anyway, so that definitely looks, still looks more blue. We'll go with the green here. Ah, who knows, maybe I'll just go ahead and finish this one. This looks like a fair, fairly straightforward one, and... If I just use the Sparkle Pop gel pens, then it wouldn't take me very long to do this one. Isn't that how it goes? You go to test a page and you just, you're like, man, I don't know if I'll ever color that. So I'll just use that as a test page. Then you're kind of like, hey, I kind of like how this is going. Maybe I will finish this. That's why I have so many test pages, because I always end up finishing the ones that I was using, because I'm like, oh, I like this. I'm going to finish this. I know. Never said. Never said I made much sense. Now, see there, that looks a little more green. Or does it? It looks more of a tail. Damn. <laughs> oh, so confusing. Yeah, if you just need flat out, like, I need this. If it looks green, I need it to be green. This is not going to. Probably not going to be the choice for you. They're very pretty. I love the glitter. I love the shine that comes off of them. They're very nice in that regard. You want a glittery, metallic-y looking gel pen. These definitely fit the bill for that. So there's those two. And then let's go with the actual blue. Like the light bluish looking one. And see this one actually come down looking blue on this one. Oh, how interesting. So when I'm first laying it down, I don't, it's hard to see. When I'm first laying this one down, I, it's going down blue. I can see it from the get-go when I lay down. But as it dries, it becomes more green. Now, as far as I can tell, that is not the case with the other pens I've been testing. But I can see the different colors in this one a little better. So... I'm pretty cool with that. This one's a lot easier to see the two distinct colors in than the other two, in my opinion. Because both of these are supposed to give like a teal type color, but this one's more of just a stronger flat out teal. And this one's more of like a bluer. This one actually goes more towards the tone it's supposed to than the other colors. So there is that. It's funny, it's almost like this one's kind of a combo of these two right here. So I'm going to show you all like... If I hold it off like that, you can see a little more green, you can see a little more purple, and you can see a little more blue in the uh, respective colors. When you put the shine on them, that's where they start getting a little, you know, what is this color exactly? I still don't think the purple looks purple enough, no matter how you're looking at it. Whether it's out of the light or in the light, I don't think it's enough, but. All right, so 
basically these are a different type of gel pen. These are going to give you a totally different look on the paper. You're going to get that glitter and shine that you want, but um, if you're looking for like more of true color, I need I need a purple bold purple pen. This is probably not going to be it for you. I will use this set, but I will probably use this set in of itself. Um, unless I can find other gel pens that complement these colors well, which I can do. It's just going to take a little bit of effort, but um, I like them. I just, these probably won't be, be like my workhorse gel pens. I won't go to these when I need gel pens. These are not ones I'm going to reach for every single time. These will be ones that usually for like special gel pen projects, I probably will be using these. And like I said, it roughly two dollars a pen I don't I'm hoping these last a while I don't know if I would purchase them again um I would rather have a bigger variety of um types of pens and colors and even if it takes more ink or a smaller pen overall uh, to get me where I need to go I would probably still rather have that um, the bold line's really nice, but I don't think that alone makes this um, worth it price-wise for me, personally. But everybody's a little bit different, so that's why this is kind of a first look. And again, as I continue on, I may decide I like these better, and if so, then we are going to do a full-on review. And I will take these through just like I do everything else, so... Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this. You at least got to see how they looked on paper. And um, there's a bunch of other people I know that talk about these and swatch them and do some different things. So I'm certainly not the only review of these on here. Um, so I will put a link to these in the description. Keep in mind, I am an Amazon affiliate, so that will, um, if you do purchase something through that link, it will send just a few cents referral bonus to me. It doesn't change the price in any way or anything like that. I will put these through Amazon since that is where they were purchased. Um, if you have any other questions or want to see me do something else with these, please put them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.